All right, welcome back to yet another group break post. This is the fourth video that I'm recording uh, in a row on Sunday, November 1st. Again, who knows what we'll actually end up posting them on the blog, so I will not spoil any of the other three that I've already done, but this one is one I'm looking forward to. Um, it's more bonus packs, but I have a pack of 1993 Leaf, the pack of 1993 Upper Deck Series 1, and then I also have this pack of 1994 uh, Extra Bases. And these are, as you can probably tell from the pack, the size of the wrapper, they're going to be oversized cards, at least in the vertical direction. So I'll save this one for last, just because it's a little bit different. I guess I'll start with the Upper Deck. Uh, 1993 Upper Deck was a really nice set. I think most people like that set. Um, I will admit that uh, it was not a set that I was in love with much as a kid, because I always hated the kind of the script font. Um, but I can understand why people like it, and there's quite a bit of nice photography. And frankly, it is a set that I believe I now have complete, although um, I didn't bother to check to see if I do for sure. So these cards are just going all, all going in the group break, and then if I ended up missing out on something, that's just too bad for me. So we start off with Bill Wegman, the Brewers. Uh, I don't believe Bill Wegman has any relation to the Wegmans, which is a grocery store chain in my area, but Wegmans is an awesome grocery store, so uh, we'll take that for what it's worth. Bernie Williams for the Yankees. Uh, Chris Hoyles for the Orioles. Now, these cards are sticking together a little bit, unfortunately, so there's going to be some scuffing. John Wetland for the Expos. Robin Ventura, nice diving shot for the White Sox. Dan Gladden. Uh, for the Twins, there he is, Bob uh, Zupchik for the Red Sox. Another nice uh, diving play here, Mike Paglarulo. Paglarulo, sure, for the Twins. Bip Roberts, everyone loves a good bipping for the Reds. Uh, Dan Walters, Padres, whoops, whoops, there we go. Just kind of sitting there. Pete Harnish for the Astros. Luis Polonio, Polonia, rather, Angels. We have one of these sort of rookie uh, cards of star rookies, Chris Cologne for the Rangers. We have Jim Abbott as a community hero for the Angels. And we have Cal Ripken Jr. as a community hero for the Orioles. And so that finishes off our upper deck. Also from 1993, we have this pack of Leaf. Uh, this is history for me because this is the first pack of Leaf, uh, certainly 1993 Leaf that I've ever opened. Um, it's a fairly simple design. It's not too bad. Steve Avery for the Braves. I think my favorite thing about Leaf is always, uh, about this set at least, is the back. You actually get like monuments or other locations from uh, where they're, where the team plays. So uh, Tommy Green for the Phillies. So for instance, you get Liberty Bell in the background there. I always thought that was kind of cool. Daryl Kyle for the Astros. Get a nice oil, Derek. Uh, Lee Smith for the Cardinals. Of course, the Arch. Um, and Duhar Cedeno for the Astros. And now this time we have a, so a skyline. It must be Houston there. So maybe they're different backgrounds. If that's the case, this might be a set I would potentially chase if it's cheap enough. I don't know. Pat Borders for the Blue Jays. Keith Miller for the Royals. Derek Bell for the Blue Jays. Eddie Zosky for the Blue Jays. All right, so that answers that question. We've got two Blue Jays with the same background. And then we had a third Blue Jay with a different background. Might be able to make those out there. Uh, so that answers that. They must have just a set number for each team. That's too bad. Uh, Greg Harris for the Padres. I'll go back to not collecting this set. Jose Offerman for the Dodgers. Leo Gomez for the Orioles. I will admit to liking the harbor there. Jim Austin for the Brewers. And Greg Olson for the Orioles, also with the harbor in the background. So, I don't know. Not a bad set. And then this pack I've been kind of looking forward to just because it's different. This is the uh, Extra Bases. I can get it open and you get um, 
12 cards in here, one of which is supposed to be a limited edition insert. So, I don't, I know I've never opened a pack of these. I do own the Barry Larkin from this set, so um, that's something. Our insert, at least I'm assuming this is the insert, yep, is of Frank Thomas for the White Sox. So you can see they're kind of almost like a stunted bookmark. Um, I will note for uh, Jedi Jeff, since he has the White Sox, uh, there is a bit of like a indentation up here. That's how it came out of the pack. So uh, you'll probably see that when you get the card. It was not from my packing. It's there. Orlando Miller for the Astros. They're very tall cards. Mark Grace for the Cubs. Mark Lemke for the Braves. Carlos Delgado for the Blue Jays. And then you get another photo on the back, too, a secondary photo, which is quite nice. Mike Bordick for the Athletics. I also like that you get a big team logo at the top on the back side. Mike Stanley for the Yankees. Alex Cole for the Twins. Gary Disarninia. I butchered that. Angels. John Valentin for the Red Sox. Sid Fernandez for the Orioles. And our final one is Doug Drayback for the Astros. So that completes uh, this particular bonus video. And as I said, this is actually the fourth such video I've recorded today. And I think I'm going to do maybe one more with a box of cards. So thanks for watching this one, and I'll have more soon. Stay tuned.